and put it here and boom I just want to check for sure this don't eat the yellow mulch is there no way no what the you mean these fall so they basically have sand gravity hmm What's going on, monkey dudes and monkey cats? Hail for gaming here. What's going on, monkey dudes and monkey cats? Hail for gaming here. Back at it again with some Sky Factory Four. Today, I need to make some power stuffs. I need to upgrade my mulch, and to do that, I need to first make power stuffs, uh, specifically an energized smelter. That's what I actually, I went ahead and renamed this because I knew I was going to need to. Ah, oh, it's getting nighttime? No. No. It's going to be daytime. Um, there we go. Anyway, so I did a few things while, you know, off cam. I made the sugar cane and oak plank filing cabinet here, which I can put more stuff in in time. And if I go down this way, I've added all the other trees onto their respective, into their respective filing cabinets which I have set up this uh, not that long ago so it hasn't been running long but to get started we must make an energized smelter and to make that I'm gonna need more steel so iron let's just, let's just do it this way let's just take 16 iron and coal that's co let's go with coal let's make as much of that as I can, 53. Turn that into coal pieces so at least I have some storage. And then I'll take this. Oh, ah. Okay, there. These and throw these in the metallurgic infuser. To make some to make some steel. While that's running, let's see, what else do I need? I'm going to need glass. Or well, you know what? Let's just try to let's just try to craft it and see what all I have. Okay. I have everything except for those two. But I guess I could have made those first. Redstone, I think it's redstone and iron, or is it redstone and osmium? It's osmium. Osmium. Two. Two. Okay, um, I am going to make some more osmium. I don't know how much this will be able to make with what I have. 58. I can get there 58. Okay, I guess I'll wait because I want to make a whole stack if I'm going to make it at all. Um, so I need six more, which is 12 more. Uh, I made another redstone clock so I didn't have to keep removing and re-adding that. So there's a redstone clock there now. And uh, I, think that's, I think that's all I did. Uh, just fill out those. I've melted some iron so that I could have extra iron because I didn't have a lot of iron left. I was like very low on iron. And uh, yeah, so this is off, but I have it running a 10 tick, so it's like half a second, it blinks on, and then every, it's every 12 seconds uh, it goes off. So, for those of you who don't know, 20 ticks is a second. <sighs> uh, but it is what it is. There's eight. Um, make any more of this yet? Osmium. There's not a lot. Well, I just wait a little longer. Wait a little longer. I go ahead and make all this and smelt all this. And start running that. By then, it should have enough for six more. But they don't have a lot of osmium. I need a lot of osmium, after all. Now this, you can make upgrades. But as quiet as it is, I don't think I need muffler upgrades. I thought it would be really loud. But the crusher, I want to crush cooked potatoes. Oh, well, here's what I'm going to do. Here's what I'm going to do. Out of... An OCD kind of thing. Let me take the crusher to show you something interesting. Take the crusher and place it here. You just shift right click again. Uh, I'm gonna do it from the side because I want it on the east. You can replace it and boom now I can have the crusher there and it will send energy to it. You can re redo them. But what I need to do is I need to um, I need to make a smelter so that I can smelt these potatoes so that they give me double. But to make a smelter, I've got to wait on that, obviously, as you guys have seen. One, two, I made two more, I need four more. Very close. And these are done, so... <laughs> uh, I don't have any coal. So coal... Let's just take 
two. Throw one in here with half of this. Throw one in here. There. Now all that can smelt. Anyway, give me just a moment. As you guys can see, I've smelted the osmium. Uh, I had a lot. I, I made a stack. I made a stack of osmium, so. Alright, just some stuff going on in RL right now that's causing some noise, but uh, everything's ready. I just have to wait for stuff IRL to pass, and that's why I've been waiting. But let's see if I can go ahead and get some of this done at least. I got this, and then I can do this, and boom. I have an energized smelter at the least. Got a smelt fast completed. Now let's just that, that maybe. And then I can put this in here. And now I've got the smelter up and running. So now whenever I make something, I can actually just smelt it in the smelter. Although I have to make sure it's doubled first, so I'd have to crush it first. But since I'm doing potatoes, boom. That's actually a little loud compared to everything else. Hmm. I might actually have to make some muffler upgrades after all. Having said that, I have discovered a new uh, something I want to do. I'm going to upgrade this generator to a tier 2 and a tier 3. It is now officially upgraded to a tier 3. Now, instead of this being a storage thing, eh, hold on, eh, eh, there we go. Instead of this being a storage link cable, let's destroy it, and let's make it an import cable. So import, so it'll actually import into the system. I need a hopper for that, so let's make a hopper. Import. Uh, some speed upgrades. Uh, redstone blocks. Four. Five, six, seven, eight. Um, oh, no, I just needed one, that's right. Um, and then import, as I put them all back in here, instead of keeping one on me. So now I import. Yeah. From here, a blacklist or four upgrades. So now it'll start pulling out everything that I put in here. As you can see. So it's actually just it's importing it into the uh, into the ew into the petrified cabinet. Where is that petrified cabinet? So this cobblestone is now actually raising itself up. Well, this is crushing potatoes. But see, now I can put these 10 potatoes in the crusher. Oh man, mechanism machines are loud. Mufflers it is. wonder what sound it is tied to. Let's go to it. Options, sounds. Unfortunately, that's pausing it. If I turn off... I could open the LAN. If I open the LAN... There we go. So. It would make sense for it to be on blocks. Oh, it is on blocks. Eh. Okay, well, now I know. <laughs> now I know for future reference. But, um. We've got this smelting. It's going to take some time, but here's 16 biofuel, so I can make some yellow mulch. Mulch. It's brown mulch. You know what? Let's put the biofuel in there. Um, it's two per brown mulch, and it takes four per two. So I need to actually go count how many this is. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 28. So there are 28. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Yes, there are 28. So 28 times 4. No, divided by 2 is 14 times 4. Uh, 14 times 4 is 56. So I need 56. Um, 56 so I needed 40 more in that case uh bio fuel 16 and then oh uh, wait are you you're done okay so let's drop these 11 in here 
some more biofuel. I mean, I'm going to need more anyway. That's 40. I need 16 more, which is four more. I have to make some speed upgrades and stuff for these as well, but that's going to draw a lot more energy. Right now, this is keeping up perfectly fine, and these are two machines running. Well, is it? Oh, okay. How much is that using? I, uh, 40? No way! Both of these are only using 40 RF per tick? Wow, no wonder it's keeping up. But I have a lot of slime balls in here because it's full, and there's some stored in that, so... I really wish sometimes that these things didn't have a buffer inside of them, though it makes sense. There we go, 56. So with that, I should be able to make this. So all I need to do is take one side. Man, I really wish there was a way you could just replace the mulch without having to destroy and recreate. So this is petrified. So let me go ahead and destroy petrified like this. And then take this brown mulch here. And put it here, and boom. I just want to check for sure. Just don't eat the yellow mulch. Is there no way? No. What the? You mean these fall? So they basically have sand gravity. Hmm. All right. Well. Okay then. Oh, that's something I'm going to have to do off-cam. There's no way I'm going to be able to do all of this on-cam, so I'll be back. All right, after five minutes and 40 seconds using a stopwatch, that's how long it took to replace all of these. That's And I have 13 brown mulch left, so if I ever need to make more, I have more. These machines have finished running. Um, uh, let's just go ahead and make 32. You know what, let's cook the rest of these and have a stack of baked potatoes. Baked potatoes are actually more nutritious. So let's have a stack and then whatever's left I can throw in there. Apples are easier to come by because I have an apple tree, but I can always replace that apple tree later. If I need to. Uh, this chest is nowhere near full. <laughs> it's not even a third of the way full. <laughs> it's, let's see, it's a 24 by 12, which means it's... 24, 1, 2, 5, 6, 7, 10, 12. So, so it's a 24 row-wise. So this is 12, 24, 30. I have 30 slots versus the so many freaking remaining. Oh my gosh. I have 42, which means I need 22 more. Then I'll get a full stack. Then... But hey, I mean, I've made yellow mulch officially. Everything has been replaced with yellow mulch. It should grow faster and produce more. All of these should grow. Now, I did forget about these two, as I said, or may not have said aloud. I did forget about these two. Um, they they were unnecessary to replace because they are purple slimy dirt. Uh, I think magma dirt or dirt. Whatever it's called. Uh, magma slimy dirt. It's a little bit more expensive. You need night slime and uh, all of that. Which means you need pink slime for night slime. And then it just gets kind of ridiculous. So there's really no need to worry about that. I just won't worry about it then. I said that I am importing cobblestone. So we're good. Cobblestone is just going to keep rising. If I go over here just to show you guys. It's at 11k. And uh, yeah. Yeah, so 11 of 22. Well, that means I'm halfway done, eh? See, let's check on my animals who I haven't seen in a while. Moo. Moo, moo. Moo, moo. Um, should I switch up for steaks? <laughs> should make a bunch of cow seeds, grow a bunch of cows, and kill them. Oh, they have to grow up. Cow. Cow seeds cost 16 raw corn. I don't even have... Oh, what about corn seeds? Corn. A corn seed is eight wheat. It might be tempting to grow some corn just so I can get a bunch of cow seeds, grow a bunch of cows, and let them grow up. I think I'm going to do that. Uh, and, then I'm gonna, and then I can start killing them. Um, instead of making cow seeds, uh, wheat. Uh, no. Bone meal. Bone meal. Boop, 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 boop. There we go. Uh, I need wheat, though. So, uh, seed go. Wait, oh, do I have a corn seed? Lettuce, pumpkin, beetroot, melon, carrot. Okay. Guess not. 
Um, so delete that. Well, I'll delete while I get rid of that. And that should be approximately eight. Nine. It works. Potato seeds I'll take with me for now. I can grow more potatoes later. Seeds. One of the weed away. Did I get rid of the plant? No, I didn't. Let's go ahead and get rid of the plant. And let's go ahead and get some corn seeds so I can make a bunch of cows adults. Corn seeds. Eight wheat. All right, let's grow some corn. I've never grown corn before. I hope I'm doing this right. Ah, it looks like I'm doing it right. I know corn is an important material, so I'm just going to grow all of it I can. And I'll get a bunch of seeds out of that. Uh, I think this will be enough. Well, yeah, I think this will be enough. I'll keep three stacks. That's 44 corn and 31 corn seeds. So let me just buy as many cow seeds as I can with this. Cow. 16 raw corn so I can get two. Let's grow them. Man, it only grew one. Alright, well that grew three. Make a steak farm. Oh, I, mean, I could just keep breeding them. See, now that I've grown a bunch of them, I can actually just start breeding them. So wheat. Wheat. Alright, now just seed. Seed. I need to grow a bunch of wheat. Alright, let's go. A bunch of wheat so I can breed all my cows together. It's 20. You know what? That's probably enough, honestly. Out of all the cows I have, I, I think that would be enough. So let's go. Boop, boop. Uh, wheat. Boop, 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 boop. Grow you up quickly. Alright, you'll grow up quicker. Two, three, four, five. Okay, so I did only have five cows. But I can easily grow them up to be adults. And you know what? Chicken. Okay, no chicken. And I can start killing these guys for steak. Because steak is better. I wonder if I can make steak. Um, so, raw beef. You can buy raw beef for eight wheat. I could technically just buy it. But cow essence also makes it. Which means I'd need to get into mystical agriculture, which I definitely am not ready for. Um, beer done. Okay. So let me eat a potato. And then put these eight potatoes in here. And then I'll have a stack when I'm done. Then throw these in here. Wheat grow. I can, um, I can always set up uh, auto farming stuff later. Wait. Okay. I just glitched for a second. Okay. <laughs> Scared me. And set up some auto farming stuff um because there's a what is it called a farm oof at cyclic sick i don't know exactly what it's called harvester maybe this one harvester oh my god that's so cheap <laughs> Point this at your field of crops and it will gently harvest everything replanting seeds as it goes the harvested crops just land where they are so you need to use another means of collecting them. Okay, and it's redstone controlled. Uh, you know, I'm going to make one now. I'm just going to make one to look at its UI. That's all. Uh, what do I need? I need some... <coughs> excuse me. I need more emeralds. So... I need a dispenser. This is cheaper. A dispenser... Need more obsidian, so I need a bucket. No, you know what? I need three obsidian to make it. So let's just fill this with water. One, two, one, two, three. Messed that up. Come on. Three. Done. And now harvester. Oh, why did that? make one harvester has been made let's just see how it looks when i place it if i open it it requires it, it's controlled with redstone all that 
area will attempt to harvest the whole area at once at the cost of fuel. A single block versus an area, it requires RF, and I can change its, its area to a max of 15 by 15. So that would act. I want to see something here. Let me, um, uh, let me try something. Let's just, let's make, uh, this is just to screw around real quick to find out. GPS, I need another GPS marker. I can make one. Let's rename it to, what is it called? A farming, um, harvester, harvester, harvester. Let's do that and throw it in here. Boom. It's constantly running, even though there's nothing to harvest. So it eats energy. Oh, it just wiped that out. Six of it went in there. Two of it went in there. Uh, actually, I don't know how tall it was to begin with. Let's turn the red stock, stone clock on. Uh, and then let's turn this off. This is me experimenting, guys. I know I could do this off cam, but I thought maybe you guys might be interested in how it works. What if I turn this off? Uh, I just want to see, it specifically says it spews them on the spot. And it specifically says that. Harvest. Harvester. What the heck? Um, it specifically says the harvested crops just land where they are, so you need another mean to collect them. But there's some in this inventory. So it, it, it almost doesn't appear that that is the case. But I just want to grow this as tall as I can and then turn this back on. So turn it on, let it run its tick. Oh. Oh. Okay, so they do land where they are. I think what it does is it takes enough of them to replant. But for some reason it's taking two. Or three at a time. But there's only one area. Oh. Let's go ahead and grab these. Alright. Is this still on? Okay, I turned it off. Good. Okay, well, that's how the harvester works. It's interesting. I'm going to have to set that up. That's probably what I'll do next episode, is set up the harvester to run. Uh, so I'm going to actually need my GPS marker back. Uh, you, you. Harvester. That probably ran quite a bit of energy, from the looks of it. Um. Anyway, uh, let me see something. I'm going to let these cows grow up. Actually, I'm open to land, so that shouldn't be too much of an issue letting the cows grow up while I sit here for a moment. Um, and then 11, so if I do some math here, 22, okay. So yeah, I think that's gonna do it for today's video. I know I didn't get a lot done. I did take a lot of time to put these trees down and replace all the mulch, and then I had to do all of this. This is done, so let's throw this in here along with this. The next episode, I will be setting up the harvester and setting up a section for harvesting things um i can leave the sugarcane sugarcane's not too much of a problem but i think i'm gonna grow wheat uh i could set up three. Oh, it'd also be really good to set up um uh what is it called um brick myth mystical agriculture i could actually start with that i just don't have any inferior i'm not sure how to start with inferior i'm in fear mobs mob drops loot fabricator any loot from basically any mob uh, I'm gonna have to set up that soon somehow reaching the ores themselves but uh, loot fabricator so I guess I have to kill mobs yeah I'm gonna have to kill mobs which is fine I'm just gonna have to set up myself to do that so I want to thank everybody for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next video thanks again have a fantastic day, and I hope you enjoyed. If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button to show your support. Subscribe for future content, and make sure to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified of the content. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you later. Peace out, everybody.